I first met Marianne at a task force meeting that was held in Harbor Gateway after the fatal shooting of Cheryl Green in 2007. I quickly discovered that Marianne was a pillar of strength in the Harbor Gateway community and had everyone's best interest in mind. By nature, she was an optimist, quick to smile and laugh. She had a strong work ethic, a determined spirit, and a steadfast faith. Throughout her life, she was active in volunteering, first in her children's schools and sports, then in the community. She was involved in the Harbor Gateway Neighborhood Council, LAPD, Beacon House, the Boys and Girls Club, and Sharefest, among numerous others. She was passionate about helping others and was at her best working with her community. For her tireless endeavors, she received many honors, awards, and accolades. When I first heard of Marianne's diagnosis with cancer, I wanted to help her bring a dream to reality. The community had long wished for a place of gathering in the Harbor Gateway area. With many organizations working together, we did it. It was easy to see pure joy spread across her face as she watched not only organizations come together for the common good, but also many community children who came ready to work hard to make Marianne's dream a reality. Marianne's legacy will long be felt in the community, not only through projects like the community center, but also in the lives of numerous people who were impacted by her life. Jeff with The Rock Church and we're partnering with Breakwater this year. We're at Adams Middle School where we've been the last couple of years and uh, they're doing some great work on their planners, beautifying their school and just giving back to our community. And uh, ShareFest is uh, the greatest organization in the South Bay to do that. And uh, I love being a part of it and I can't imagine not having ShareFest work day every year. When I think of Jeff, I think of someone who is completely selfless. I've known Jeff for the past six years and had the privilege of seeing him in action. Jeff was hardworking, honorable, humble, servant-hearted, and completely behind the scenes. Jeff loved God, his family, and community. Jeff loved serving his family in a way that I will never forget and provided an example of what the love of Jesus looks like. Through this, he taught many of us that love is to be preserved and appreciated in our closest relationships. I remember the day I got the call in the office in January of 2009 when he told me that he had stage 4 cancer. I was completely taken back because I knew what that meant. He called to tell me that he still wanted to participate in the workday that year as a project manager and that serving his community meant more to him than ever. Jeff even showed up to our meetings after he received treatment for his cancer. He was just that kind of a guy, a selfless leader who desired to make a difference in people's lives. Both Jeff and Marianne built a legacy that will far outlive them through their investment of time and love into their families and communities.